I mean, I think they're a little overpriced. By the way, how would that interview be if he was on the podcast? I tried to get him. Did you? I tried to get him. Dude, that yeah, would they be... offered him. They offered him to me. Like they, they sent, you know, like they send out these. I get this list of people that are trying to get on the podcast. And one of them was Hunter Biden early on. <laughs> what this, year? Uh, before the laptop stuff, before any of that. Like when he was thinking about coming out with uh, a book. Like, I think that, remember when he came out with his book? And he went on Kimmel and he talked yeah, about, yeah. so I was like, ooh, should I? And fuck that. And then I thought about it afterwards. I go, why not? And then I reached out and then they passed. But that was when he was already in trouble. Dude, that would be insane. That'd be fun. That would be insane. Let me ask you, Hunter Biden or Trump, which one do you think gets more eyeballs? For a podcast? For Trump. Podcast. Trump, Trump, for sure. Yeah. Trump is going to break the internet. Yeah, Trump would be like Elon Musk numbers. That would be pretty crazy. You think but he I beats Musk? I don't do things based on how many people are going to watch. Yeah. I do things based on whether or not I'm interested in talking to that Totally person. get it. Now, you know, it's, it's interesting. But from a fan's perspective, you know, where you're kind of looking at numbers, a fan says, which is going to be bigger or the other? But the talent, the artist, you don't think about it from that perspective. You know, for I think about it whether or not I'm interested in someone. That's it. That's what I've always done. So that's what I always do. Like, do I want to talk to this person? I don't want to talk to that guy. So I don't talk to them. Yeah. It's very simple. Or maybe sometimes people I don't want to talk to, but I think it's worth a, 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 it's a discussion worth having. I'll have that discussion. Who, who was your most difficult where you're doing the interview? You're like, dude, I can't wait for this thing to finish. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I've had a few of those. I've had a few that weren't released. Because the person was like a con artist, and I realized like oh, while no they shit. were talking that they were full of shit. Oh yeah. no shit! I had one of those pretty recently. Um, yeah, you you gotta know. I mean, sometimes people are just playing you, and it's a scam, you know. And, and you, you realize like, well, this guy can get this information out. This could potentially harm people. Who want to invest in his bullshit idea, you know? And and then you find out the person has a, a long history of being a scammer. You're like, okay, I can't, I can't have this one, but. You know, most conversations I have with people, luckily, are great because they're someone that I'm interested in talking to, and I'm curious, and I'm a nice person. So when they they come in, I'm nice to them, and I want them to. I, even if I disagree with them, I want to find out why they think what they think. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing you and Trump together. Ah, you keep pushing that. I I think okay. I'll tell you from my perspective, like uh, on why you ought to consider it when you do do it. I'll just give you my, um, okay. just so you know, he and I don't speak, you know, it's not something that is like, Hey, his camp saying, go in there and do this and do that. Now I've never interviewed the guy. So it's not like I'm, you know, uh, lobbying for it. But I think if, you know, when you think about sports or you think about fights, what is the boxing world? If Frazier Ali never happens, right? Uh, what is the UFC world? If DC John Jones doesn't happen or Khabib Connor doesn't happen and they're both at their peak and those fights don't happen, we can go on with sports, you know, with baseball, with, you know, uh, interviews of Oprah Winfrey, Michael Jackson. You know, you go look at, you know, uh, some of these things that happen with Larry King or her and, uh, uh, you know, a bunch of different guys. So let's fast forward 20 years from now. Let's go to 2043. We're doing a podcast, you're 75. Okay. I don't know if you're doing podcasts, but that'd be one hell of a podcast at 75. And maybe we feel a little bit more comfortable coming out at that time because we're traditionalists, we're older generation, then maybe we're a little bit more careful about what people think about us right now. But at 75, we look back and we look at the list of podcasters. Who are the greatest podcasters of all time? Joe, Joe Rogan at the top, GOAT. Who's the greatest this, 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 that? And he's like, Dude, but he never interviewed that guy, Trump. I'm going to be like, what are you talking about? Wait, let me get this straight. The greatest podcaster of all time never interviewed Trump at a time that he didn't do that? Dude, that's crazy. I don't believe it. Why not? It had to be personal. It had to be this. So to me, I think the guy that's going to interview him in a way that nobody else is going to interview him, you. You're going to ask some questions that you want to know about. Like, you know, hey, what happened with JFK? Are we really going to find out? Can you commit to us? Are you going to come out with the files or no? So I really want to know. Last time you said you did, but you only gave us 80%. Are we going to get the other 20%? Aliens. What the hell is going on with these aliens? Are we going to know or no? Can you give us a glimpse? Do you think we should know? I Can don't think I, he'd tell you anything about but, that. But, but what I'm saying. I think that would be a waste of time. Yeah, but what I'm saying is whatever Maybe angles. I'm wrong. Whatever angles you choose to take. Right. Okay. It's your show. You, you get to take whatever angles you want to take. I think it'd be 
very weird to look back. There's going to be no mainstream media 20 years from now. You know that. I know that. To look back and say Joe never interviewed Trump. That's kind of weird. So that's my pitch to you. Good. I like weird. You like weird? I like things that are weird. I don't know about that. I think, I think, you know, uh, I think one. um, Why don't you interview him? Why don't I interview him? I think if I give you my um, assessment on why. Have you ever tried? I'll give you my assessment on why I think. Okay. I think if he's him, okay, you're here, Joe. Everybody else is below you. In this space, not mainstream. In mainstream, he'll do Tucker. He'll do, you know, uh, Megyn Kelly, whatever. I don't know if he's done Megyn Kelly. He hasn't done it yet, but he'll do Tucker. He'll do Brett Baer. He'll do Hannity. He'll do all that stuff. But in this lane we're in, you have to do you first. 